As many of you may be aware, there's a very serious Ebola epidemic currently occurring, and while it's not yet thought to have reached Western countries, it's spreading very quickly for Africa, and there's an incredibly highly likely chance that it is going to reach Europe at some point in America. How um, deadly it will be in those countries isn't known yet, but I thought I'd do a video regarding it because a lot of people have been asking me questions regarding it on various forums. Uh, mostly about gas masks and Ebola and what can protect you and whatnot. So Ebola is a disease spread through um, bodily fluids and there's fears that it may become airborne. So at the moment it can only be, um, as far as they're aware, you can only catch it through sort of exchange of bodily fluids including sweat which is probably the most dangerous and also sort of sneezing, vomit, diarrhea, those sort of things. You can also catch it from meat that's been diseased of Ebola and there's fears that it will become airborne so you won't even have to come into direct contact with a human or animal with the virus to get it so um, what preventative measures are there well as it's spread currently only through skin contact or you know contact with, from, with your skin to infected material the um, safest bet, obviously this might seem a bit extreme at this point, is a full-on NBC suit that's completely waterproof. This is an East German one here with gloves and a respirator. And this means that if you've got this on, you're completely covered. There's no way, you know, sweat or whatever could get into contact with you. However, this is where it gets more dangerous. If the virus becomes airborne, supposedly the particles would be too small to even be stopped by a conventional filter. So the filter you see on this mask here probably wouldn't do anything to help you. i say you'd have a better chance still of this on than not having a mask on, but not by much. Um, however, you can buy 40mm filters for masks specifically designed against biological agents, and they give you a better chance, I imagine, than a standard military NBC jack-of-all-trades filter. So, Ebola is incredibly dangerous. It has up to a 90% mortality rate, somewhere between 50 and 90% depending on sort of how strong a person is who is infected and how quickly they start receiving secondary medical treatment. As Ebola is incurable, all they can do is basically give you things. They'll put you into, you know, um, quarantine and then they'll try and give you things to ease your pain essentially and keep you hydrated. That's all they can do for you but it still has an incredibly high mortality rate and what will happen is more and more people get infected and what makes Ebola so dangerous is it has quite a long um, incubation period what this means is that somebody could be infected show absolutely no symptoms of having it but can still spread it to other people so if we say that the average incubation period is for example two weeks that means for two weeks somebody could be meeting with other people potentially spreading the disease and then only later on realizing that they're infected and in the meantime other people will be repeating the same pattern and they've already had multiple people on airplanes going to various countries who have died several days later of Ebola very suddenly but not showing any symptoms at the time of the flight what makes this particular strain of it so dangerous is that several sort of medical professionals working in Africa have already died of it even though they're taking full-on protective measures and are trained to you know essentially wear a full chemical suit and goggles so that's why I'm recommending in this video a full-on NBC suit that's completely waterproof and not just sort of protective overalls um, so yeah the only other thing I can really advise is um, taking multivitamins and hoping they help boost your immune system enough that if you're likely to have a very brief encounter with somebody who's infected it's not long enough to actually affect you as I said this is um, you know something that's incredibly dangerous I'm not an expert on it of course but I thought if the video you know is enough for some people to think that's a good idea you know we're currently asking what should I do panic 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 um, if it does get to epidemic levels you only want to be eating canned food because that won't have had skin contact with anybody sort of packaging it or whatever who has been infected like bottled water only because I imagine it can get into the water supply eventually and full face respirator with a full bodied chemical suit leaving no skin 
um, you know, open and make sure you have a filter that will stop biological agents. Um, yeah, there's not much to say. Of, um, if it does get to epidemic levels, you probably don't want to be going outside. If you've got a job where you are uh, with other people, you probably don't want to actually be going into work. Um, avoid public transport. You know, have a full tank of petrol in your car and um, keep that in there for an emergency. Make sure you've got canned food, canned water, you know, bottled water. Got your supplies, got a way of defending yourself because, of course, if some places begin to break down with a virus like this, there's nothing stopping people looting and trying to kill you. So, you need a way of defending yourself as well. So, not really much to say on this video. I hope it's been interesting to whoever's listened to it. And, you know, I hope it clears up some answers I've seen posted over and over again on certain internet sites about will a mask protect you from Ebola. So, hopefully, nobody you know we know gets infected with it but this is a preemptive warning because as we've already seen the news stories come out of Africa have been for several months now but it's only just now that governments are starting to say oh this might be a problem when it's already a bit too late for that so you know here's the video good luck